Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another week of the Ramble. I'm Alex Bennett. We'll be here until midnight tonight. You know what my problem is? I forget that I have one of these interviews going. And the other day, Larry Bubbles Brown, I forgot. And then today, I had one I had down, had down on my calendar. I even put an alarm on it. And if the alarm didn't go off, it would have told me 15 minutes beforehand, Farnham. I, right. do, I do that now because I don't remember things. Like yeah, I, I put little post-its up or I got, uh, Kim will come in and go, hey, you know, you've got Alex in 15 minutes. And Yeah, well, I, 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 I have to look at your your uh, thing here because we have, um, you know, um, let me see here. Where is it? I, I can't even find it. Somewhere. Oh, there we go. There's Farnham. Okay. I, I put it in here. Yep. Mm -hmm. And let me see if I have an alarm. Uh, I said 10, 15 minutes before, and it never went off. <laughs> well, That's so much good. for that, you know. Oh, and, and on here, it says Farnham, 1 p.m., Dismiss. Okay, but it goes. It's supposed to go off of my watch. I'm supposed to get a little buzz, and I watch look. it. You know, oh yeah, and it is 1 p.m. where you're at. So yeah, yeah. So anyway, I'm. So I've been doing that lately, and I, I feel. I feel maybe it's time to cash it in. What do you think? No, let's just ride it out. Do I still have it at all? Oh yeah, I know you got it. I really, I do got, I do got it. <clears throat> well, what are we gonna do? We don't have anything else to do now. You're, but well, that's yeah. the that's the alternative. What the fuck is there to do? Right. Nobody tells you. I think you go into a an alternative time zone. Really? I think I think life is slices, and when you leave one, you go to the other. You know what I'm losing now, and I hadn't lost it for a long time, mainly because of doing the shows and stuff at night. Is my sense of what day it is. Yeah, I have no idea. Because when you I go to work, no you idea. go, hey, this is Monday, this is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, it's, thank goodness it's Friday, you know? Right, or it's, or uh, Thanksgiving or when there's a holiday. Well, I had done pretty no, well no on clue. this. I had done pretty well on this until, you ready for the, I forgot that you were going to call. That's Chuck Farnham, by the way. If you can't read, screw you. He's, his name's right under right. his picture, Okay. Anyway, I can make them other people if you want me to. But anyway, yeah, let's check for Please do. Um, the other day, uh, I I have this thing back here, which is my green screen. So I, right. I set up my green screen because tonight I'm going to have to do a program, right? Right. And uh, I, uh, I that's uh, not the green screen now, though, right? Uh, what? That, that's your actual living room behind you. Yeah, of course. of course. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unless you want me to change it. No, no, it looks nice. Okay, I like it. good. Anyway, where, where was I? Um, what, well, you were forgetting? Oh. Um, oh, so uh, I'm, I'm going through the whole day, and I'm getting ready, and finally I'm getting ready. I do the show at 10.30 at night, and I'm getting ready. I'm saying there's something wrong here. And it turned out it was Tuesday, not Wednesday. I've been there. You've been there. Oh, well, many times. I never times. have been. Happens I all feel, the time I to me. feel terrible about it, you know? Yeah, there's no reason to. You don't have a reason. There's no reason for there to be Monday through Sunday for, for somebody like you the or me. Only, the we only don't way care. I know what day it is now, and this yeah. is true, the only way I know what day it is is uh, what TV shows are on. Yeah, see, I can't tell by that. And I, I can't tell by that that much because I'm do streaming all the time. So right. I have no way to figure out what day it is. The only way Marjorie can remember what day it is is does she have a doctor's appointment today? Uh-huh. 
And then she will ask me what day it is. Oh, yeah, I have an appointment tomorrow. Yeah, good. I uh, found out, I, I watch pretty much exclusively the Hallmark Channel. Do you really? Because, yeah, I love that thing. Because I can figure out everything that's going on in the first five minutes. But I found out something new. What? <laughs> they now have a thing called the Mahogany Hallmark Channel. Exactly. I know what you're thinking. Why mahogany? Exactly. Why mahogany? I don't know, but it seems wrong. And what I mean, on, I, what's on the mahogany what, channel? Furniture? All um, African American folks. It's all black. Oh, so they didn't want to call it something like Hallmark Black. Yeah, they call it Hallmark Mahogany. Why? Because black people look like mahogany? Mahogany? I don't know. I'm looking at this going, and I'm asking people, and they're like, what? That doesn't exist. I'm going, no, 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 it really exists. Well, tell me now. I saw an ad for it. This is something we don't know, and you can perhaps apprise us of it. What do you watch on the Hallmark Channel? Well, it, it'll be... Right now, it's nothing but Christmas is, movies. Christmas. Uh, you, you want me to give you the... Yeah. I'm going to give you the entire plot of all homework programming. A woman is coming back to see her family because they're having trouble with the family business, and she wants to help, but it turns out that there's a guy in town that wants to buy the family business at a lower price. Now, wait a minute. Let me just and, ask you this. When does the boning come in? About 20 minutes in. Oh, really? Like there is there scene. is boning in these things. Oh, yeah, but not not really. You know, it's it's, a, implied, it's weird. Is it implied boning? No, they're always in bed together. But you know, on the Hallmark Channel, unlike on the Lifetime Channel, <laughs> it's other. The Lifetime Channel will not do anything gay or with a lesbian, whereas the Hallmark Channel will have men kissing and women in bed together and stuff. But you not know, over on Lifetime. I got to tell you something. I'm watching this show. It's on Showtime. It's called Fellow Travelers. Now, the concept is rather interesting because it, it uh, covers a period of time that I remember and that I f played largely into my politics. And it was called, you know, the, the 50s when you had the, right. the McCarthy hearings and so on. And this is about McCarthy and... Uh, uh, what's his name? His little pal who was Trump's uh, oh yeah 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 aide de camp, um, and you'd say, well, okay, that that sounds interesting. No, but also it's about being gay. The whole thing's about really? the whole thing's about guys in bed with each other, and and how they work for government, and you know how they can't reveal that they're gay, and it's an interesting plot. Right. But the trouble is. There are too many sex scenes. Oh, yeah. Okay? Now, it's not that I don't mind seeing two guys kiss or that I mind two seeing two guys lying in right. bed. I mind them you lying in bed, bed when nothing is going on but boning. Okay? Really? Because I like it when there's a plot. Now, I don't mind two people lying in bed if it furthers the plot of the thing they're discussing moves right. the plot there's forward. A but no, in, at least in the beginning of this thing, there's nothing but this boning going on. You know, and have you I'm seen going, F? You know, I'm not upset by this, and I know people have gay sex, but come on, give me plot, move forward. I enjoy the thing with the, uh, you know, um, uh, they got the McCart go ahead to McCarthy, do it, so now they're overdoing it. McCarthy and what was his name? Uh, uh, oh, uh, I know. Mm, like, I'm gonna have I trouble with like, the other guy. I know my own name, and right now I'm forgetting it. I can see it. And I can't name the guy. Uh, I, I debated him on radio. I debated him on a show here in New York. Wow. And I looked him straight in the face, and I hey, I can't remember his name. Oh, boy. Yeah, okay. well, I'll get... We'll I'm do gonna, this, I'm, I'll, I'm going I'm to cash this all in, folks. I'm sorry. I can't... No, no, you're you're fine no, now. But, but this was like Trump. It doesn't get worse than this. This was Trump's guru. Oh, and, really? Yeah. Dom, uh, he was he was the subject. You remember this uh, play, Angels in America? Yeah, yeah. He was the subject in Angels in America. Mm. 
He's the evil gay guy who dies of AIDS. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Now, I'll remember the name in a, in a bit here. But anyway, and no, it isn't Robert Kennedy. He was the other guy on the McCarthy. Uh, Bob. <laughs> I, that's why I never trust, uh, trusted Bob Kennedy. Robert Kennedy, because yeah, uh, his association with McCarthy. But anyway, um, God, I'll remember the guy's name in a moment. But I looked at the guy and I said, how do you feel about the fact that you convicted the Rosenbergs and sent them to the electric chair? Yeah. And he looked at me and there were these like, these eyes, they looked like shark eyes. They just looked at you, you know. And he said, I, I feel very good about that. Yeah, how can you? And I said to myself, I know I have never seen the devil. But if I have, I just saw it. In well, how, his can you be, how can you be, you can be anti-abortion, but pro-death penalty? How does that work? I don't. I. I. I have no idea how, how that works. How can you be? How can you, how can you be anti-abortion for you? Right. But not give somebody else the right to make the decision. That's always yeah. been my argument. Yeah, you know, and then you okay, but then then you're you're but you're pro death penalty. So you know, and they go, well, you're killing children, and well, I'm like, well, you're you killing this. some let guy. Let me ask you this: You were you're a father. I, you had a kid. So they tell me. You had a kid, I guess I guess the woman who we both know came to you one day and said, I'm pregnant, right? Right. Right. Was the first thought in your mind, let's go get an abortion? No. So really you're pro life. No. no let me finish. Let me finish with this. You're pro life. You didn't ask her to go out and get an abortion. You decide to have the kid, right? Right. Because right. you thought it'd be a wonderful idea. Well, that's your decision. Right. That doesn't mean somebody else has to make the same decision. Not at all. And there's a lot of work in this that maybe yeah. other people can't handle. So I think we should have like pro decision. You know? Yeah. You can make whatever decision you want that you feel is right for your life. Yeah. Have you seen on TV um uh uh F Boy Island? F Boy Island, I imagine the F stands for Yeah, it does. You should check that out. <laughs> it's um interesting. Mm. Mm. There's a lot of really, just, a lot of real stupid TV out there, right? Oh now. yeah, no, no, no. It's it's stupid. Not unlike every Hallmark Channel show. And people go to me. They go, I can't believe you're admitting to watching the Hallmark Channel. I go, I was in four porn films. Why would I not admit I was you were watching in four porn Hallmark. films? Yeah. Nice, huh? With our buddy Ron. Oh. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You were in four porn films. Did you do any porn yourself, or were you just? No, no. I'm always. I'm the guy in John Leslie's The Voyeur, Volume One. Mm -hmm. I'm the voyeur. They shot the whole thing from the side of my head. Hmm. Let me see here. Then what else were you in? Let's see. Uh, Blondage. Fresh Meat, and The Dog Walker. And The Dog Walker. Now, The Dog had nothing to do with the sex, right? No. Not at all. And I'm on the box on that one. Hey. You got a picture of me on the box. Really? And the people go to you, they go to you, well, you know, when you're going to do this, they go, are you, you know, that's going to follow you for the rest of your life. And I How's go, How's it going to follow that, you for the rest of your life? You didn't have sex in it. I'm going to put it on my goddamn resume. Yeah. You know, give me an IMDb for porn, and I'm going to, like, sign that up. I'm clearly in all of the scenes. Yeah. Yeah. You got to do something in spare time. Well, you know what? I, you know what's bothering me lately? A little problem mm. I got here. Um, it used to be if you put Alex Bennett into uh, IMDb, but more particularly into... into uh, um, what do you call it? The other one? Uh, well, uh, Google. Google. Right. Uh, you put Alex Bennett in there, the first thing that comes up is me. Okay? But, you know what the first thing is that comes up now? 
Mm. This blonde woman. Nice. Who was on something like Barstool Video or something. It was a sports show. And her name is Alex Bennett. Yep. Now, I wonder, nice. if, I wonder if she belongs to the union. Because if she belongs to the union and is using Alex Bennett, I can stop that. Yeah. Well, she, I imagine she's using the union. I think all these guys have to now, don't they? Well, maybe, but she'd have to change. She'd have to do something and call herself Alex L. Bennett or something like right, that. Right, right. Yeah. I uh, I got a guy in uh, Australia who's got my name, and he's a big uh, um, pianist or violinist or singer kind of a Sinatra type, maybe. Mm -hmm. And he gets my mail and I get his. And apparently he's, you know, he's like the Frank Sinatra in Australia. And uh, we laugh about it because he'll every once in a while I go, hey, dude, I got your email again. I, can, I go, yeah, you know, I got three from you too. You got some gigs coming up, I see. <laughs> so we just laugh at it. And, and then the people go, you know, everyone else follow me, you know, the person from Australia, I go, you know, Chuck Farnham. Oh, man, yeah, we go see him. He's amazing. I go, yeah. Yeah, well, so yeah, I hear. it used to be, it, uh, I was, if you said Alex Bennett in either San Francisco or New York, the first thing that would come right. up would, would, to mind would be me. And now it's this blonde chick with boobs, you know. Nice. So I'm through. My career is over. See, nothing's We're left. We're retired. Nothing's left. We, we I know, this is I, what we do now. I don't consider myself. We have something to do. This you, is it. You consider yourself retired? I'm tired. You know what I thought of last night? This really scares me. I'm afraid of dying. Okay. Right. Okay. We've, we've established that many times before. Yeah, I'm, I'm not real good with it myself. But if Marjorie goes before I do, I have no friends. No, oh, sure you do. No, not here in New York. Well, who? My good friend Shecky, who just dropped dead. Shecky's gone. Um, my friend Feldo. Steve is gone. What Feldo? I don't want to even talk to that asshole. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm still trying to figure out the boxing, the no glove boxing thing he's doing. What? Yeah, if you go to his stuff. There are these ads for people who fight without gloves on. And, he's, and he runs ads for them and promotions and stuff. No, he's really Bare lost. knuckle boxing. He's, he's a... I, he's I don't understand. It. What? He's lost it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ever since he got busted going over there to the uh, uh, Congress that day. With what? the boys from with Letterman. Didn't he go over to... Yeah, you went over with a gang from Letterman to the to Congress, and they were wandering around the halls and got arrested for. Well, they thought it was going to him and the comic, the insult dog. Oh he, no, he Conan. was working. Yeah, he was working with uh, uh, the insult dog and whoever the guy is that you know. Right. Yeah, but no, he wasn't working with the Letterman show. No, it was it was it was Conan. Conan, I think. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People are floating around. Well, one day he decided he didn't like me any longer. And, you know, really? I, yeah, I was always just like, the last time I saw him, very had a friendly, went out to dinner, had a good time. He lived here in New York. Was yeah. lived here in New York. You know, and. Uh, well, he used to call your house every day after the show and run jokes while we sat there. Yeah. Yeah. On their I mean, couch. he was like my best friend. Yeah. And all of a sudden, one day, he doesn't like me. Yeah. yeah there's no, what are you going to do? And he also, a lot of other people said he turned sour, basically. He's definitely gotten weirder. Yeah. If that was possible. Yeah. So, you know, what the hell? Not fun weird like Larry. This is David Feldman, folks. Go over and yeah. watch, watch his show. I don't know if anybody does anything. Yeah, go do that. Um, bare knuckle boxing. Bare knuckle boxing. Bare knuckle boxing, I'm telling you, and then women do it too. It's weird. It's like that slap fighting thing. Well, my favorite thing yeah. about with women, have you ever seen uh, gone online and looked up for women with guns? No. And they got like women, in, oh, women in bikinis with guns. 
with guns. Oh yeah, no, no, I've seen that. Yeah, and and they'll like have a uh, oh I don't know a, a AK forty seven or something like that. I think is that, did I get to get it right? Yeah, yeah AK- I think so. And and then they will shoot it repeatedly so their tits move a lot. And there are quite a few like that on there. I used to put it on my uh, when I had this show and I did it out of a studio. I used to mm-hmm. have that as a regular thing. And now, ladies and gentlemen, more, more women in bikinis shooting guns. And I would nice. take it off the Internet and we'd, we'd play it. Yeah, Sounds good. You know what's coming here tomorrow? Tomorrow I'm getting the Facebook glasses in now the mail. Explain this because... They'll stream. The, the glasses will stream whatever I'm looking at. Well, they're, they're cheaper, aren't they? They're going to be cheaper than what... Apple came out with, which is going to be thirty five hundred um, bucks. Yeah, Apple's glasses are yeah, but Apple's glasses are different. Those mm-hmm. are a, a complete. Those are more of an AR. Um, you know, the kids got all that stuff, and these are Ray Ban glasses that change color. So they're sunglasses and regular glasses, mm-hmm. and they have a camera and six microphones built in, and they'll stream right to Facebook. So. Next time we do one of these, what I'll do is I'll wear the glasses and you'll be able to see me looking at you while you record the show. It'll, it'll be like we're doing it twice, but it'll be live wherever I decide on Facebook to put it. Oh, really? So, yeah. Oh, gosh. It sounds like a good time. Like if you had them and I had them. How much are these you costing could, you? A lot. What? They're like four, three, three. I got a... I mean, once again, Ray-Ban, they have a Black Friday sale, unlike the Mortuary. No problem. So they were on sale a bit, about three seventy or something. They're coming tomorrow. They charge in their own case. Like you have a glass in case, you just put them in and there. What and they are they called? I don't know. Go to Meta and look up glasses, and they're there. They're, Ray-Ban is doing all the manufacturing. Really? Now, suppose, can you have prescription lenses put in there? Yep. Yeah. Maybe I will do that now for Now, you him. don't see anything through the glasses outside of what no. you're looking at. Right. So what, what you're really doing is the camera is showing the world what you're seeing. Right. Okay. So, like, when you and Marjorie are out rolling around the uh, park, mm-hmm. you wouldn't have to hold the phone. You would just wander around and talk, and it would it would stream to. Yeah, uh, I would rather wait for the thirty five hundred dollar Apple lenses for only one reason. I've always been a three yeah. D freak. When I was yeah, a me kid, too. when I was a kid, I went to every three D movie there was. Okay, yep. and then I learned how to draw in three D by taking mm-hmm. two pencils that were of two different colors, and then putting a rubber band between them. And then drawing little lines, and if I wanted to come out of the screen, I would move it further and further apart. You know, I learned how to draw in 3D. That's how crazy I was about 3D. Well, it turns out that next month in the newest iteration of the the iPhone, they are making it so that these two lenses here, right, are going to be the ones they use to shoot 3D. That'd be nice. You'll be able to shoot 3D with it, but you won't be able to play it back anywhere else. But on the head, an Apple phone. No, the Apple eyes, glasses. Oh. Uh. And then all the pictures you've taken in 3D will come out in 3D. Nice. Yeah, I had a 3D TV for uh, I have several one. years. I have one here. I have two of them. Actually, yeah. I have one that's stored away. Uh, but. Uh, um, it's broken. The latest one I, I have, I've had forever. I, I won't get rid of it. Uh, you know, I've got too many 3D movies. Right. Uh, so. Yeah, no, that stuff's good. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for that. I figure I'm getting some fuck you money, so I can afford $3,500 for these glasses. Yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to this thing. I'm... You know, I can go driving and just turn the thing on. Well, by and the way, rambling these, like these a, glasses, which have this big thing here, right? Right, right. Has a screen inside that mirrors yeah. your eyes. Oh yeah, I saw that. So you, they, you, people can see your eyes while you're 
while you're reusing these now. That's good. Hey. And you can see so you don't fall over something like I did earlier in the week. Yeah, yeah, things like that. Uh, well, we're coming close to the end here. No, well, not I, us. I, I, not in the same way your mother came close to the end. but you know, Yeah, she you, hit the end, apparently. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know when the, you know, mm -hmm. it's just weird. The whole thing is weird. I mean, I lost my dad a long time ago, but it wasn't like this. I'm just numb. Yeah. Yeah. And weirdly numb. I'm not, it's not sad. It's like just I know, numb. I know. I've had it. I've been there. I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. There's certain numbness that, you know, I remember. Maybe I should more, ask them. Maybe, yeah. hey, maybe the, Maybe the mortuary could um, give me a tooth. Could be. Either that or you could take one of the death certificates and kind of... Get a tooth. Get a tooth made. Hey, out. before, you know... Yeah. Just trying to help people. Really. Thanks, Chuck. Well, thank you, sir. And, uh, you know, I hope you had a nice Thanksgiving. Oh, did you? Months. Oh, you, oh, you didn't. My mom died. Yeah, your mom died. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, oh by the way, sucked. just before we leave, I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. I appreciate and, and it. And thoughts and prayers. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> and I'm sincere about that. Yeah. Well, you're the only guy who could get away with it. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. Bye. Now in Thanks, buddy. Year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yeah, there was, uh, <laughs> I started the music a little early, but that, there was Chuck Farnham, and we'll, we'll hear from him probably again. In a week or so, I don't know when the next time will be that we'll, uh, I'm, in fact, I probably should call him and say, hey, do you want to do one more before the new year? Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's it with Chuck, and uh, now we, uh, we're, oh, we're starting off our whole week. That's what we're doing. By the way, right after we're through here, uh, you got, uh, what's her name? Uh, <laughs> Amy, <laughs> Amy uh, Manuel. And her fine show, The Intersection, uh, she's taken over that show and been doing a swell job of it. And people say, have you heard from, have you heard from Jack? And the answer is, not until tonight. Ah, so you heard from Jack, huh? Finally? Did he tell, what did he say to you? Well, I didn't exactly hear from Jack. He butt-dialed me. <laughs> and as soon as I picked up it hung up. So, anyway, that that that'll keep you informed of what's happening and not happening. Anyway, where are we? Okay, let me uh, first let me get uh, all these people here. I have to get the list of people, and then we will admit them as we usually do. And here they come, ladies and gentlemen. See them? They're all popping into view. And oh, there's our there's the vo new voice of Gabnet, uh, uh, Steve Fox. Who also has his own uh, his own online service called? Uh, uh, let me see here. Well, I, you you tell him. Foxy <laughs> Steve. Is it called Foxy Steve? It should be called Foxy Steve. Yeah. 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 Swiss is around. Yeah. Yeah. Steve Fox is old school. Old school. And if you want to go to it, uh, just go to our Gabnet page and off to the side, uh, we have a link to it so that you can you know you can see it, you know, listen to it rather. Where. Where is it though? Oh, I don't know. It's in in San Francisco. What, what what do you mean? Where is it? Oh, it, it, it? if you go to gabnet.net, yes, off to the side of the right the, side. The right side. See, there's this big link to Steve Fox's old school thing. Okay, but if you didn't go there, where can you get it? <laughs> oh. Uh, that's what you're asking. So you could go to any platform that's out there when you think about it, except for iHeart. Really? Mm. Why aren't you on iHeart? They kicked me off. What? <laughs> well, the thing is, I, I was going through a service before. I'm not going to name it because I may get in trouble. Um, and what they did is they started charging me a, quite a bit of money for licensing. And they kept pound, you know, compounding it with because you're going to be on iHeart. And it went to an enormous amount of money. And then finally, they said, well, you're very popular right now, but with that your licensing is going to go up again <laughs> and i said bye bye and got away from them so so wait a minute wait a minute they wanted to raise your 
amount of money you were paying for the licensing because it was going to be on iHeart. No, it was on I, iHeart. Yeah. And what happened was the listenership went up. And so. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. But, so it's, it's, it's he fun. must be it's, making tons of money. So let's charge him. It's funny because oh, yeah. I'm on iHeart and my numbers are still low. So, yeah. <laughs> That's why they don't charge you. <laughs> well, you don't have a license it. either, so that's the good thing. I mean, music-wise. Well, you were on a you were on a uh, <coughs> excuse me, you were on a thing that had a actual um, uh, thing where they they let you play music and so on. Right, um, they streamed by station. That's what they did. Yeah, and you paid them to stream the station, right? I. I paid the other company who put me on iHeart to, uh, you know, more to go ahead and do that. And then the numbers came back in saying that, you know, your listenership's gone through the roof. Congratulations. Why didn't you just submit your channel to iHeart all by yourself? I did. And what they require right now is insurance. So the insurance is what? in case. Yeah, I'm not kidding. It's in case something goes out on the air and they're not going to be liable for, you know, the pro whatever I said or whatever was said and they won't get sued. So the insurance will cover them. And, uh, and how much I did they want for the insurance? Oh God, that was 3000 a year. Really? So, I, I've never gotten anything to the effect that I have to uh, pay them any money. I don't know. It has to do with uh, them streaming you. I mean, as far as you know, radio itself. I don't know about podcasts. But they're though. not. They're it's not. Steve Black. What? It's Mahogany. He's black. Oh, I see. Mahogany. Yes, they didn't like you because you were a Negro. <laughs> but he's he's not. Come on, except, I'm except Indian. He, except he's not black. Hey, hey, hey. I know. He's Indian. It's not black. You may be Indian, but I would say stick to the fact that you're black. You're going to get more stuff out of it. You know? Right. Yeah. As soon as but you Steve, you must get that all the time, right? I mean, I, we, oh, we, never. Went to, sorry, we went to lunch together, but yeah. Nobody picked up the lunch for him, did they? You know why you didn't? You know why you didn't pick up the lunch for him? Oh no! Here we go. Bill was there. That's why. Because here we go. Because he's black. That's the reason. No, because why. Phil was there. Because <laughs> Phil was there. Yeah, they got Phil to pay for it. The sucker. No. Phil don't pay. See, we and we got we got Phil in, in trouble because we we were trying to get this together right for a while, right? You and I. Yeah. To, to get a car thing together. And then we invited Phil and his buddy Alan. And then Phil went and sent Alex a picture. And they got us in trouble. So, oh, well, well, you sent me a picture too. And I still like you. It just gives me an excuse not to like Phil. Not put it on Facebook, I think. <laughs> you put it on Facebook? Yeah, I put it on Facebook. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I think I took it down immediately, but, you know. <laughs> Yeah, uh, oh, uh, you gosh. know, I, uh, yeah. Gee, should I make friends with Phil again? No, we're just kidding. You oh, did not okay. make friends with him. Well, well, I know what I didn't make. What? No, you did not make friends with him. Oh yeah, it's I did like, not make friends with him. Yeah, over that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You know why he uh, he liked your picture that he sent or that you sent him? What picture was that? Oh, the same one. Is because you're white. Oh, I oh. see. Oh, okay. I see. All right. A Jew. And he's a Jew. And I'm a Jew. I'm a yeah. Jew. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, hello to Charlene Martinez. Can she hear us? There. Can you hear us now? Yeah. That isn't uh, terrible. <laughs> Hi, Charlene. I, Charlene, yeah. I would put it back in the uh, in the other mode. It just, yeah, because... Oh, there we go. It, oh, my it, neck. It, it didn't turn for some reason. Alex? Yes. Oh, I was sitting there, you know, during Chuck Farnham yelling, Roy Cohn! Roy, Roy Cohn! Cohn! Yeah, me too. Oh. <laughs> that was the other guy you were thinking of. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I go into blackouts here now. 
at my age. But I knew who you meant, though. Yeah, I, well, kn- I knew. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so um, uh, uh, so so th- uh, you had a nice lunch. Good, that's fine. Uh, I I went up, I I haven't gone I haven't gone out in a week. I haven't left this place. All right. Is it? How's the weather? Too cold. Be- beautiful. Too cold. Beautiful. It's beautiful oh. today. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. But I had too but much cold. stuff to do. I had lawyers. Do you, do I, I, I had lawyer stuff to do. I had okay. uh, uh, an inter- Bub's interviews today. Okay. Then I had to do some work on some stuff that uh, came in from the landlord that I had to change. What, you know. What about yesterday? What about yesterday? Yeah. Why didn't you get out yesterday? Uh, because I was lazy. <laughs> no, I just don't think I. Why could. am I trying to argue with you? I don't think I can walk anymore. I just can't walk. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. You know, it's horrible. It's well, terrible. Well, hang on, because you said that uh, mm-hmm. yesterday you were ready to go on, and then you realized it was Tuesday. Mm. <laughs> no, that was a week ago. Oh, that was a week okay. ago that that happened. Did you get okay. your calendar, Alex? I wondered where. Yeah, well, every I wondered. I wondered has, where that came from. Yeah, it, it was your Christmas card. Wait a minute. Here, here, do this. Do this. Um, um, take that and put it over your head so it moves. Hold it up, and then hold it there, and then move it up above your head where nobody can see it. Ah, there, there, there. Ah, there we go. Yeah. I got it. I got it from you. Okay, I'll give it back to you. <laughs> All right. So, well, what uh, what the hell is this? It's a calendar. I know it's a calendar, but nobody buys calendars anymore. Well, what are you I talking do, about? Instead of sending, <laughs> instead of sending holiday cards that people look at, and go, that's nice, and throw away. I send calendars. Yeah, but yeah, nobody I uses calendar. calendars anymore. I use calendars. Paul Brown. Do. do you send him one? Here, let's see if you can get yeah. get it uh, uh, from me. Send him one. <laughs> uh, hey, that'd be a no, great. I, I have to say thank you so very, very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay. And it did it have it the bird on there? What's the bird? Is the bird the one we voted for? <laughs> no, it's not. Is that the what is that the funny bird we're supposed to vote for or something? Can you read what it says, Brian? What does it mean you're out of fries? It doesn't make any sense at all. I'm sure it does. Pigeons love to go through the parking lot. <laughs> And where McDonald's is and stuff like that, and eat the fries right. off the ground. That's that Alan. Seal? That's Alan's humor. That's <laughs> awesome. Well, <there's laughs> we a... don't get it. We need it explained. Did, if you flip there's it over a... to the back, does it explain the joke for you? <laughs> it's not a joke. It's a calendar. There's a, pi- <laughs> there's a picture here. Let's see of a. Uh... There's another one there. Of something else. Whoops, maybe yeah, not. There we go. Okay. It, it's not just hey. it's not just you. I look down on everyone, says the giraffe. Here, here's the here's the other one. It's oh something about God. your nuts. Your nuts. <laughs> wait, wait. This is too much. Charlene has a question. I think can we go back to the calendar? But I don't want to have too much. No, of, maybe we right. make it out like no, every Brian, five minutes you show a month. T- tell me this. I, is... I just wanna I wanna ask, can I interrupt a second, Alex? I mean uh, Alex. No, not Alex. at all. Anyway, go, no, go ahead. Okay, but when you're ready, am I allowed to tell a funny mahogany story? Because, you know, when you were talking to Mr. Farnham, he was talking about the mahogany channel. I have a little mahogany story. Oh, okay. Whenever you want me to. Okay. Am I allowed to do just, it now just real one fast? Mo- just one moment. Let me finish with this wonderful, okay, I'm sorry. This yeah, wonderful, okay. awe-inspiring this calendar is, the ratings are going to go through the roof. Can we go to January, please? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is... Right, I want to go to this. my birthday month, please. Uh, it, 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 now, tell me if anybody, if anybody thinks this is even funny, okay? May. <laughs> it's a dad it, it's joke. It's a picture calendar. of a squirrel. Okay. And yeah. it says, come what? for my nuts if you dare. I know squirrel foo. But um bum Whoa. <laughs> okay, I guess I gotta send one to I gotta Brian sleep now. February. Wait, let's February. What's February? Yeah, keep going. <laughs> anyway, so uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, let's see here. What's Any, February? Uh, oh, here's another one with a squirrel. It says, You think I'm revealing where I keep my stash? You're nuts. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder this thing was on sale. <laughs> <laughs> 
How much was <laughs> it? Dad, I, I know can, dad jokes. Can I these just are not dad ask jokes. you how much it was? Yeah, Three. It was regular ten on sale for five. <laughs> That's a dollar a store. Boy, if do you I had a great joke, you get a free. So Alan got a free. Boy, do I feel mm -hmm. special. Well, listen, he did send me a cane. Okay, so I got to hand that to him. He, he, sent, he me. sent me a cane, and that uh, that I I get good use out of that. Good. Uh, it's the only thing that holds me up. Uh, let you me see a, here. You had a coupon for the cane. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm Jewish. I went to the synagogue and they gave coupons out for canes. Oh, let, let me tell you something. Let me tell, tell you something. Steve Fox in, in, has engaged in here. We, I've been turning out promos for the intersection, so I wrote one, and you did that, and it's up. You know, we're running it, uh, and uh, it uh, actually ran exactly a minute one second with really? the music. Yeah, yeah. So, but then I I decided to put the thing into an uh, into uh, chat GDP, <coughs> that's what it's called. So do a spot for, and I put in the information. And it wrote a spot. And I, I, I thought, eh, so what? And then I go back and I'm trying to write one. And I go back and I look at it. And I go, you know, this is better than anything I can write. Jeez. I mean, did you find it? You Did you find it hard to read? Was it good? Um, I had to reread it many times uh, because there was the way the words were. I, I can't, if I had the script here, I could even you know, mention what it was, but I don't have it. Um, but yeah, it came out fine though. But I they, did they, ad lib they, a few things, but that was about it. They didn't have to, they didn't write anything um, in there that was hard to announce? No. Oh, okay. Because sometimes people, when they write spots, they don't write spots for people to read. They write spots because they look good on the page. Yeah. Have you ever had this happen to you on the air where a spot is written for you? Mm -hmm. And what they do is they, instead of putting the numbers like 1994, they write out 1994. Oh, oh, God, oh. yes. <laughs> and when they used to do it with money, like, you know, 1995, <laughs> well, they should write $19.95. Yeah. But they don't do that. So it's, you know, who? who now Hmm? Alex didn't read spots. He protested those. <laughs> no, I, I, read, I read spots. In the early days when I had did radio here in New York at WMCA, about every other spot was a live, what we called a live read. And you had this whole book and you went to the live read and you just read the damn thing. And the one that used to break me up every time, I had to keep myself from laughing, was why be buried in a ordinary grave when you can be buried in an above ground mausoleum? <laughs> Try saying that with a straight face on the radio. Oh my gosh! Did you ever do Ginter Lee Diamonds? No, no, oh. <laughs> no. I never got to that. No. Oh. Uh, but uh, yeah, it yeah. comes with a free calendar. Shane. <laughs> <laughs> you had you had Tom Shane on all the time, right? Like the Breakfast of Venice, wasn't he there oh, yeah. a couple times? Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He, he, he actually he had a good sense of humor about me kidding yeah. him. Yeah. You know? yeah, he was so monotone, right? He was so... He had this voice, yeah, with kind of, I am Tom Shane of the... What was the name of the company? Of Shane the, Company. Shane, the Shane, Com Shane Company. Shane Company. Shane Company. And he would do it he with this like monotone, and he had no... But when I got him on the show, he got funny. Yeah. You know, and it was, it was great, you know. I also had... Uh, one time I did a week of, uh, of trying to get people who did uh, spots on radio and television, you know, for themselves... And I got Ron Popeil for Ronco, and he was a, he was a hoot. I had a good time with Ron Popeil. You could kid, I loved him. Yeah, yeah, you could kid him about anything, you know. Here's, what was his product again? Uh, Ronco. Ronco. Ronco, but Popeil, right? Ron Popeil. Yeah, he had a, a, some kind of slicer. Or something. But the thing like. was, the thing was, you know what his secret was? He told me to his whole advertising. Is he would offer you, you know, the whatever the the uh, peel a peel a potato or something like that, you know, <laughs> some uh, device he had invented, and then he said, "But that's not all," and he would add something else. Yeah. If that's not all, we'll send you six steak knives. 
But, mm. but that's not all. And by the time you were through, you got this whole thing of junk for like <laughs> 30 bucks. Garbage, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I mean, he just piled. He said, what I do is I start out, you've got it. I sell the, the item I'm trying to sell. He says, and I show you how great this item is so that you'll want it. But now, if you didn't exactly want it, let me throw this in, too. And let me throw this in. <laughs> and this in. He says, by the time I'm through, you're getting $100 worth of stuff for like 30 bucks." And people love that. That's how he, that was his route to success. Huh. But anyway. Interesting. I'm you never did Cal Worthington, though, right? Cal Worthington? Well, you want to talk about Cal Worthington. Uh-oh. Uh, in his you, dog you, spot. You, really? I think maybe maybe you might be able to hear this. Maybe you might not be able to, but let's see. Now let's see. Here's Cal Worthington and his dog spot. Yeah. If you're little short of cash, go see Cal. Double's <laughs> over in a flash, go see Cal. If other dealers you have cussed, here's a dealer you can trust. All you have to do is just go see Cal. Take a You cow. know, everybody in town is advertising new 88 model cars and trucks. We're selling 89s, brand new 89s at the very same prices. Look at this. A brand new 89 Ford Festiva, $54.95, $95 a month. A brand new 89 <laughs> Ford Mustang, $89.95, $149 a month. And look at this, an 89 Ford Probe, the all-new Ford Probe. You've got to drive this car, $94.95, $163 a month. An 89 Ford Taurus, $10.995, $189 a month. An 89 Ford Aerostar. $99.95, $173 a month, and $89 Ford and F-150 pickup, $99.95, $173 a month. The 89 Ford cars and trucks are on sale at the same prices. Hey, come and see us. It's Worthington Ford in Long Beach. Worthington Ford in Long Beach, where your friends are. Open to midnight. See you here. Now, That's crazy. And, his, and his dog spot was always some different animal. Yeah, it was like a leopard or a <laughs> yeah, lion a leopard or, or a boa yeah. constrictor. <laughs> Cougar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, 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 but there were a couple of cars there mentioned. How many, how, how much would that Mustang be worth today? Yeah. That's yeah. it. The 89 Mustang. Yeah. Yeah. How much would that yeah, be worth? That probably had today? a four cylinder in it. <laughs> <laughs> Not for 199. Yeah. <laughs> but here's one for you. How good a car was the Ford Probe? Oh, God, it was garbage. <laughs> at, the time, was garbage. at the time, yeah, at the time it was popular, but it's garbage. It's like a Maverick. How many of them did you own, Brian? Huh? Uh, I owned a lot of Mustangs in high oh, yeah. school. Right yeah, I had a lot of 60s, 65, 66, and I had a beautiful 67 black on black on black convertible. Yeah, you never went for a 5.0, did what you? What was the first? No, I did. I had a 1990 black on black convertible, five speed 5.0, and a 95. Well, I can't picture what? you in a Mustang. I had a lot of Mustangs. Yeah. I had a lot of Mustangs. <laughs> I loved them, Mike. Can't picture any you the Shelby, Mustang for some any reason. Shelby Cobras? Any no, Shelby Cobras? No, 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 no. It was too, it was high school. He didn't have the money. But my question yeah, is, yeah, there, there, there was one fastback, 1968 fastback that this guy modified that I wanted really bad, and I couldn't afford it. And it was 8,500 back then. <laughs> now what, it's probably 85,000. Yeah, so, yeah. I yeah. never had fast cars when I was a kid. When I turned 21. I started That's, driving fast. Well, actually, you know, the, the Mustang. Red lights, everything. Yeah, the Mustang came out, I believe, in 64. 64, 64 and a half. 64 and a half. And then I just got out of the military. So in 65, I bought a Mustang. And I had that car for quite a while. That was the best car, man, for the price. It was like 1995. <laughs> Nineteen dollars and ninety-five cents. That's not bad for a car. <laughs> no, no, nineteen hundred ninety-five dollars for a Ford for that Ford, and and it we came with like a, a carpeting, right? And it came with bucket seats. Bucket I mean, seats, it was huh? a it was a great car. It was a great car. It wasn't particularly a sports car because it didn't have really revved up engines. Am I right about that? Uh, did you did you have yeah, a two eighty nine in it? Two eighty nines, yeah. It would be yeah. a six cylinder, the straight six, or it two eighty nine. Yeah, two eighty nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but anyway, it wasn't. It wasn't a speedy car. I didn't find it to be a sports car, but man, it just had a nice feel to it, and it was great. And you know, didn't have. I love, I didn't love didn't a have. Years later, you could it, have bought the bullet car. It well, it, yeah. did, it didn't have seat belts. Mm -hmm. I remember that. That's right. Back then, it didn't. Then, then, if you were in an accident, you simply, you know, flushed off the dashboard and sold the car to somebody else. <laughs> Went right through the windshield. 
One, one of these. One of these. Dangerous. Oh, that's right. <laughs> the stop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> remember your do you remember when you used to, to put your time. hand out and then you used to put the hand down for stop? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Hand signal. Yeah. 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 Hand signal. But, what was it? Uh, down was what? <laughs> yeah. Right turn. Oh, straight, straight out is left. Is left, isn't it? Up is a right turn. Uh, and when you go down, it's a slow down. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. 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 I've had a couple of times. Hey, okay. go fuck yourself. I'm moving it. And this? On this is in the cop ahead. <laughs> the cop ahead on a motorcycle. Motorcycle. Alex, yeah. yeah. My father promised me a um, Ford Mustang. You know, when he told me when I got my license, but instead I got a brown Toyota. I was pissed. <laughs> I don't a know what happened. Toyota. A Ford Mustang turned into a, a brown Toyota <laughs> when I got my car. Well, you should have seen a what? You know, nice. There's my kind of Toyota. A Corolla. A Corolla. Oh, hey, Corolla. Toy <laughs> Never mind. There was his first car. I got my car. Ford Mustang right oh, here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, uh, um, um, it, uh, all the cars he mentioned in there, he must have named 20 cars in that commercial. Yep. Yep. Yeah. A Taurus. A Taurus, he said. Oh, yeah. That was another great car. A Taurus. Those things died all the time. They still make Tauruses yep. up. So, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what my father bought and got rid of, got, bought and got rid of, I think, in three months. Oh, really? Any guesses? A Chevy or no? That, yeah, I mean, the Cor the Corvair. Baker. You're absolutely correct. It was the Corvair. The Corvair. 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 Really? You got a Corvair. Wow. Nice. Oh, what do you mean nice? No, he got rid of it. It was such a piece of crap. Any reason why he didn't like it, Alex? Or was he just didn't uh, like it? It just it, it didn't work right. You know, it, oh. nothing was good about it. And luckily, yeah, we got rid of it. Oil like crazy. Crazy. Yeah, it got, we got rid of it before it killed us, you know. <laughs> it was like an Edsel, right? Nobody liked the Edsel. Well, no, the Edsel was not a bad car. Oh. It's just mm -hmm. that everybody made fun. You see, here's what happened. There was a guy by the name of S.I. Hayakawa, who later became the president of San Francisco State University. But he wrote a book at one point called The Sexual Symbolism of the American Automobile. Really? And Ford, the people at Ford read this and said, well, in that case, let's really give them one that looks like a vagina. <laughs> and and, and, and that was literally, the they created this car to look like a woman's private parts. That would be my mother's car. <laughs> now, there, if, I, if I'm right, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, car guys here, there was nothing oh. really wrong with the Edsel. It was not a bad car. It's just that everybody joked about the way it looked. Looked, right. Yeah. yeah. And I've said this before on here, there, there's actually a couple guys that have, you know, ugly cars become great customs. So yeah, another exactly. one of the ugliest cars, but one of the most sought after cars is a Lincoln Zephyr, like 1939, yep. 1938 Zephyr. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, Kevin knows because he goes to all the shows with me. But but those cars were like the, the, the back window came down and then the trunk sort of went flat and then went way down where the back the back trunk and the bumper are. It was so long and extended. When you lower that and you chop the top, it just becomes masterpiece. Yeah, have one here you somewhere. can do all kinds of stuff with them because they get yeah. they're great. What they call great, blank great canvases. Profile. Yeah, the great silhouette. Isn't uh, the lowered roof the car that Bonnie and Clyde drove? What was I that? I just saw that somewhere. Bonnie yeah. and Clyde. Oh, really? Yeah. They, had a, they had a lowered roof uh, car. That car exists, and you can go look at it with all the chopped holes. car. You mean? With the bullet chopped. holes, huh? Wow. Bonnie and Clyde, they were killed in their car. We know who they are, Alan. <laughs> yeah, not everybody does, Charlene. No, not everybody. <laughs> Sorry, does. I was just joking. It wasn't. Alan. It Don't wasn't chopped. Himself. It wasn't chopped. But some cars back then did look chopped, but that that yeah. wasn't. They weren't chopping cars yeah, until there was after. A car I like way... the grills on the thirty-nine. There, there, the grill was a, or the... there was a car from way back when, I believe, called a Tucker. Tucker. Yeah, I saw that movie. Oh. I saw the movie with Jeff Bridges, yeah, right? Yeah, it was yep. that. And, oh, yeah, yeah. and he, they only made 50 of them. That's yeah, it. You have and, one 40, of those, and about rare. 48 of them were in the movie. <laughs> <You know? laughs> right, right. I would have liked to have the car that was in Bullet. That Steve must McQueen. Be yeah, Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I would imagine there were probably like three or four of them because they probably was broke. Was that Allie McGraw? Yeah. There was, Stephen yeah. Stephen Queen, Alan McGraw. I don't remember. I think they were dating. I know. No, it wasn't. Yeah, Stephen. they were. No, Steve McQueen, Alan McGraw was another picture. I can't remember. Oh, sorry. But anyway, so, I mean, um, um, but no, there was one also. I, I had a girlfriend, and her father had restored it, and it was a, 
Oh, boy. Name some of the fancier automobiles back in the 30s. 30s. Uh, not the, you mentioned the Darwin. Darwin a couple of times. Darren. Darren. Oh, Darren. Kaiser, the Kaiser Darren, uh, yeah. which um, came, al- uh, came with doctor-assisted suicide, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Kaiser Darren had, uh, if I remember correctly, had lips on the front of it. Oh, my God. It looked like it had lips. Yeah. I had a big calendar did. made by, with that car in it. Huh? Yeah. The Darren's the one where the door slides into the front fender. You're right. I think yeah. Jeff knows that car, right, Jeff? Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. Um, what's the name of the company that made that car? Who's the manufacturer? Der- Kaiser. Kaiser. Kaiser? Kaiser. He owned Kaiser uh, Steel. Yeah, it was, was it, it or aluminum? Yeah, and the one one of the ones yeah it looks like it had lips. And the second thing oh. he he came out with after the car was uh, Kaiser Hospitals in Cal- in California, yeah. and it was a it they were created as a way of getting medical help to his employees. Employees. Oh. And then he extended it. Then my father joined it because he extended it to unions. Yeah. Hmm. And so if they you belong started, to a union, you start, can be part of Kaiser. What? They started, Kaiser started the, the, the hospital and the medical service in Richmond, California, because they were building ships there for the war. No, I don't think that's why Kaiser built it then. I think he no. built it after the war for people who worked the original, Kaiser. The original Kaiser is built in Richmond, California. Mm-hmm. The original Kaiser what? Hospital, Kaiser Permanente. Oh, Kaiser Permanente. Kaiser it, well, it, Permanente. Wasn't, it wasn't Kaiser Permanente at that time. It was just oh. Kaiser. Okay. And if I remember correctly, the main hospital for Kaiser was in San Francisco. Oh, you okay. Know. So, well. Well, their headquarters, uh, the Kaiser's headquarters. But we could fight it, but it's not worth fighting over. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I was born in Kaiser. I mean, what the heck? Yeah, yeah. Like, I was not really the most what happened. <laughs> yeah. Kaiser's very good now. They are. So they, listen, okay. they they uh, they they impeached uh, or they uh, were trying to file impeachment against uh, Biden today. Mm. That one's going to work, isn't it? At least they're doing I'm something. Still waiting. At, at what least the crime they, is. Well, you know what's amazing? <laughs> they can do that, but somehow they can't pass a budget. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. Get all the Republicans on the line. We'll, yeah, we'll uh, impeach Biden. No, you're not. What are you going to impeach him on? You know, what did he do? He didn't even push out that son who got him into trouble. You know, so I mean. <laughs> but it, it's, uh, you know, it was, it's it's uh, uh, ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous that they that they are spending their time on that cluster. Believe me. Yeah. So, what uh, have you heard from Jack Bishop? Yes, I got a. I, I mentioned it at the beginning of the show. Just said it. Oh. Alan wasn't listening. No, Alan yeah. doesn't. I wasn't on. Yeah. Yeah. I got a butt call from him. Oh, oh man! And he did. Then that, when that I said hello, hard. he hung up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So no, no, nothing this whole week. No nothing. No nothing. Haven't heard anything. Well, that's kind of really strange. Meanwhile, I managed to, you have to give me credit, in just a few days, I managed to wipe all of Gabnet free of Jack Bishop. Wow. Yeah. You know, all Maybe the artwork. He you. Huh? Maybe when he butt dialed you, he was sending you off too. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Did I change this? I have no idea whether I changed this or not. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. It's intersection. Tonight at midnight Eastern on Gabnet. Did you hear that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Listen closely. It's intersection. Tonight at midnight Eastern. Oh, you went intersection. Oh, you take it out. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. take it out. Yeah. With yeah. Jack Bishop. And uh, I, I uh, removed him from a couple. I had, you know, I had I spent most of the week changing everything over to, to you know, Amy Manuel. So it's, uh, you know. You should bring her on the show. <clears throat> Just to introduce her, you know, to people who don't know her. Well, Listen to her, and they can get to know her. Yeah, you know. And there's there's some history here, Steve, and I don't know the whole history, but her and Alex were on the show together at one time or something. Mm-mm. No, she came in here. She was here one night. Yeah, mm. yeah. 
Uh, but she, uh, she, uh, that was a visit. She used to host the show with Jack, mm-hmm. and then I, I didn't mm-hmm. like the combination. It didn't just didn't seem to work. Mm-hmm. But when she offered to do the show, when Jack suddenly disappeared, uh, she just took it upon herself to do the show, kind of for him, you know, as a service mm-hmm. to him and to her her callers, <clears throat> his callers, and I I liked what I heard. Her by herself is just fine. I think the two of them in combination were not. Would you agree with mm-hmm. that, uh, the people here who used to yeah. listen to both yeah, of them together? Yeah. And yeah. She, she's really, I listened to it the other night, and I went, it's pretty damn good, you know? Pretty damn good. That's because she's got really good guests on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you, are you her, uh, uh, what do you call it? They get, you get all the, guests. the producer. The producer, right. are you the producer too? That's what oh. happened to Jack. You were the producer and I went downhill. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. Blame Alan. Yeah. Alan, the program director. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I mean, uh, it, it's. Um, um, she uh, did it. I listened to her the other night. We finally got all the kinks worked out. And she, uh, she did a really good job. You know, and everybody, all you guys seem to like her. The two of you who call her here, who are on right now, sure. you seem to like her a lot. You know, so yep. um, it works out. It worked out well. I really, and she got me out of a out of a real mess there. Yeah. Okay, and it was fun to make up new graphics and things like that because I had to relearn how to use Photoshop and everything else. Oh man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Although. Photoshop has done something. Photoshop, in case people don't know, is something where you manipulate photographs and things like that. Mm. But it, it, I used a, a version of it that has AI, okay? And uh, I uh, simply told it. Uh, it said, uh, do you want to take the background out of her picture? Mm. And I said, sure. And I had done that before, but I used to have to do it by clicking on certain areas and finally getting the whole thing. I just clicked it, and it completely removed the background smoothly with smooth edges and everything. Remove Jack, too? <laughs> that was easy. Uh, no, but if you if you look at that graphic, it's on gabnet.net, that photograph in the middle was just lifted out of the background. Wow. And uh, it was terrific. And uh, so wow. I, but I, but I thank her for, you know, doing what she did and I'm, I'm i'm very happy to have her as part of our our programming scheme here the other thing is she's not doing monday and tuesdays but jack was never required to do monday and tuesdays either he just volunteered to do it hmm. uh, those seem to be the days he had the most problem yeah what monday and tuesday Monday yeah. and Tuesday, yeah hmm. a lot of that could be because you got a weekend where you're not doing anything and so you come back to it, and it's not fresh to you anymore. My problem is that when I had to go use Photoshop, I hadn't used it in a year to do anything because I'd have to do graphics for the website or whatever. And when I had to go back to it, it took me a whole day to relearn it again. You know, because wow. you don't you you don't use a program for a year, and it's hard and to changed. come back to, huh? They all improve. Well, they improve, but not so much of that. But you just forget how to use it. Well, as the, that's what I was saying. They've improved with a whole bunch of new things that you have to learn. Yeah, but without... They the, change it. They change forget it. Forget about yeah. no improvements. You still have to go back and relearn it. It's just... Yeah. you got to get back on the horse again. Yeah. yeah. If you do it every day, you're going to pop, 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 pop. And then if you don't do it for like six months, you go, bum. Bum, yeah. bum, bum. Did I do What's that? Yeah, exactly. Like you know, when it, if you didn't use your machine to record audio, your voice and stuff, you probably forget after a year how you exactly oh, yeah. you did it. You know, it's like the automation systems, the same thing. You just forget. I mean, if you step away from it for a while and go to something else, and you come back and you're like, uh oh, yeah, you forget about it. Yeah, but, but so uh, yeah. me being a newbie, um, and I, you know. I don't know anything about uh, Jack Bishop or anything, but um, neither do I. <laughs> but he's they were on. OK, they're on Skype, right? Are yeah. they on video they're or using, is it they're, audio? They're using Skype. Now, okay. she, now she, she could use Zoom, but um, she'd have to use Zoom right after I'm using Zoom. It's uh, 
it, I mean, it could be done. I mean, we're thinking of going having her go to Zoom uh, oh. because I see no advantage to Skype any longer. You know, mm -hmm. but it, it's so mm -hmm. when when her shows because I only heard her recorded shows heard. Is is it on video also? Is it on oh, video? like to no. watch it? He no. means on YouTube. Right. Now yeah. again, she could do that. But yes. we'd have to figure out the logistics of where it appears. Are we putting it up on YouTube? Where are we putting it? Yeah. Uh, and uh, so that's uh, that's that would be the problem with that one. But I see with her, it's not a problem because she technologically can pull this stuff off. You know, she knows She's the technology. Good, yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. I mean, I could say to her, okay, why don't we why don't we try to put you out on uh, uh, on uh, uh, YouTube? Okay go live uh, or record it or whatever. And, uh, you know, it's just a matter of where we're going to place it. You know, we're going to place it on uh, my, my GabNet site or we're going to put it on an Amy Manual site or what? Where are we going to put these things? Oh, but okay. she could do it. She could do it tomorrow. She's, you know. But I, I, I think the delivery system is okay. I mean, Skype isn't terrible. And Skype is somewhat easier for the uh, average public to use because we were the after the, show too. The, huh? The thing oh. that's weird about yeah, it is that, Zoom. what were you gonna say? What, what, I said the thing that's weird about it is that if you're the average caller slash listener, mm -hmm. when you go to that show, all you hear is audio, and then you and then the, the people on the show are just they're in video and they're talking about oh look at this look at that. But you're yeah. just sitting there listening to what they're looking at. Yeah, yeah. Because of Skype. Yeah, yeah that's seeing. that's why I was asking about that. If, if yeah, it video should be a, it should be on Zoom, I think, so that either you can see it and hear it, or no, well, you, know, you can it see. Might as well it, just be an audio show. Yeah, well, it is just an audio show now. Okay, it is now. That's yeah. why I say it's not. It's not as. I think like after this. the first year. Uh, I might talk with her and we'll figure it out. Maybe we'll find a way to, you know. I think she'll have it. She'd do it fine. I think she could do it fine. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. I think uh, if she simply used my Zoom address. Yeah. And uh, I don't think she'd have a problem with it at as all. As soon as I go off, she can sign on to it. She shouldn't sign on to it Just before like the I old go days. off. Yeah. Like you guys used to do it with Skype. Yeah. Well, Skype was a little easier. Uh, I didn't, because here's yeah, the funny thing about Skype. We On the intersection, they use Skype. And the reason we use Skype was because that's what Jack was used to. And I'll be damned right. if I was going to try and teach him anything no, else. No, I get that, yeah. You know? <laughs> uh, and, and that's no putting debit down Jack, but he just didn't understand yeah. the technology to begin with. And I got him up to speed enough so that he could use Skype. And right. uh, But anyway... And plus, there are a few different rules with, uh, with, uh, oh, what do you call it? With, uh, Zoom. Yeah. Uh, uh, with Zoom, you have to know the address to go to, you know. Right. The, uh, and with uh, uh, Skype, all I have to say is just type in GabNet Live, and you'll get to the show. <clears throat> so right, it's with, a lot. With it's Zoom, lot of, it's just links, and you just click links. In that respect, it's more user friendly. I make my case. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Uh, Good night now. That's cute. Does this look like the legs of a murderess? Uh, anyway. Uh, so anyway, so so uh, we had uh, we had them uh, trying to uh, do a impeachment of of Biden because they had to because the Democrats have tried to impeach Trump. Right. Well, yeah, there was good reason for that one. You know. Yeah. Both of them. But there's nothing so far as this one's concerned. And you can spend all this time trying to make a case against Biden where there isn't one. And, like and for tat. Yeah, no, but, and then, you know, uh, just not do anything about the economy, about the, about the, uh, the budget. Nope. You know, not do anything about that. You can't seem to get <clears throat> that one together. And you, know, we're not going to give yeah, money. Got, to, we're not going to give money to Ukraine and to uh, Israel unless you first Z Zelensky you take flying over here trying to kick their ass and say, "Hey, we're still here. We're still killing each other. Hello, we need some money." Yeah, and, and yeah. It, you can't even get the Republicans to understand that if they don't give money to Ukraine, that's the greatest Christmas gift 
that could be given to Donald right. to uh, Putin. Uh, I almost said Donald Trump. Same thing, Putin, Donald yeah. Trump. Yeah. Right. Same thing. Except for one still in power. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, it, it, you know. So I mean, so uh, uh, you know. I mean, what do you what are you doing? Give money to you got to give money to Ukraine now. I, you know, I'm arguing a little bit about uh, uh, Israel because of what's going on in Gaza, and the world has turned against Putin. I'm um, against Netanyahu. Netanyahu. Yeah. Right. Because of the way he. Uh, went after the people in Gaza. You know, what when you that? see little babies, mm. you know, missing an arm or something, these kind of things you see it on TV every day, you don't exactly feel good about the Israelis. I don't know. feel good about Hamas either. No, that you don't. Ha that. Nobody says you have to. You right. know, and, and being anti-Hamas doesn't mean that you're necessarily pro-Israel. You no. get what I'm saying? Or that you're pro... Uh, uh, I but, think we, but we all know you're not pro Be, Israel. Being pro-Palestinian is not being pro-Hamas. Okay? Oh, Plain right. and simple. I agree. You know? And for years, I've been pro-Palestinian. <laughs> I've been calling for the Palestinian cause and the fact that they need their own homeland and, and their own fate. Uh, and... Uh, uh, what, what, Give them taxes. You we know, and, and now... Here you got, you know, as a Jew, here you've got, and you're a Jew too, uh, although we don't like to admit it, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, Alan, uh, and, and Jeff's Jewish, but I don't like the fact that Netanyahu is really, because they call it a Jewish state and they shouldn't, it's a, it's a Zionist state, it's a... Uh, 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 Israeli state, but calling it a Jewish state, it's like everybody goes, well, don't you hate what your people are doing to Gazans? And I go, don't blame me. You know, I've been pro-Palestinian for years. And you can be pro-Palestinian and not be anti-Semitic, by the way. So that's also another thing you should understand. You know, uh, it's, but, uh, it's terrible what Hamas did in Israel. There's no question about it. But they killed 1,200 Israelis. Do you know how many children they have killed in Gaza? Almost 5,000. Yeah. Wouldn't you call that a disproportionate response? The way wars that's work, just the children. Huh? But well, that's just the children. They that's just the children. 5,000 women. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. They're raping women. I saw a thing about that, like a... You know how horrible it is that they torture, rape is torture, and they're raping these the women. Israelis and then they, are, you know. the Israelis are not raping women. No, no, it's the Hamas or uh, something. Yeah, right? yeah. What, what, Tony? You know, you know what I think it is too, and I could be wrong. It's just my opinion about that whole conflict. Is that it's not a conventional war. It, that's what I said. They're fighting, but it, it's both sides. It's not really making sense because neither one is looking good. It's like, and it's well, got no, to be at a Wait a minute. I think the Palestinians are not looking bad. I think Hamas is looking bad, but yeah. Palestinians but, are not Hamas. And I think what you're trying to say is when people are trying to say, like, I don't know, like, when they say, like, oh, you're pro Palestinian, they think like you're for like a terrorist group. You're really like not for war more than less. You know what I'm saying? These people forgot, you know, you're anti war. That's what really people should say. I'm just not for war on either side. Well, no, I mean, I mean it's, like, it's turning, it, you know, it's the fog of war, as they call it. Jeff, you're, you, I, do you disagree with me on this? That, a little uh, bit. That, I, that I Hamas, just... um, Hamas, uh, uh, Hamas are Palestinians, but Palestinians are not necessarily Hamas. I know. You know, it's, it's the bad problem is there's a whole bunch of people killing other people. Exactly. And, you know, and you go, why, for what reason? And they go, well... Because a bunch of policemen were supposed to support them, and they didn't show up for eight hours. Yeah. You know, you're right. You're right. And, and that really probably accelerated. Well, the, the whole, latest, the latest well, thing was that Netanyahu for years has been paying money to Hamas. Yes. Yeah, I heard that. Wow. Thinking that was we, a way of protecting Israel. 
Oh, yeah, smart. We, we, smart. We have, also, huh? we have also given money to terrorist organizations. La, la, who? 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 Um, who was in uh, Iraq? I know. I think they trained bin Laden. No, we, I know we that. Didn't, we didn't pay. There, there's a no. perfect example. Oh, wait. Bin Laden I remember studying on that. They didn't train him. And then Laundry they turned it back. Well, so that, that was early on. on. That was early on. Yeah, that was support. the late 70s, well, right? matter, we still gave the What it was is that the, uh, um, um, Osama bin Laden and his fighters in mm. Afghanistan. Where was it? It was. Uh, but it was Afghanistan, wasn't it? No, I don't think was it? it was. It was uh, like trying to remember. Where, it was in the Middle East. It's one of the stands, okay? Uh, yeah. They, they <laughs> yeah. supported but Osama bin Laden. They did, yeah. Because. They trained him. Wait, let me finish. Yeah, because totally. he was fighting our enemy, the Russians. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And because he was fighting the Russians, we were willing to pay for that. Yeah. It just mm -hmm. turned out that later on he became our enemy, but not at that time. At that time, in fact, it, you ever go back and watch Rambo Three? I never saw. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's about it's about, it's about him helping. Not gonna watch it. About him. Really, I gotta watch it. That's about fine. him fun. him helping. Uh, Osama bin Laden's forces. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Yeah, yeah it was. That's interesting. Yeah, it's it's hilarious to watch. So but it's amazing though, because we train these. They they always think the United States is like so innocent and everything. We actually we actually use people, and when we're done with them, we'll disregard them. And then you want to know mm -hmm. what what's that saying, Alex? Show me your enemies, a friend them. There's a certain saying that. I think what you're with, thinking of is the enemy of your enemy is is my uh, ally. Or whatever something like that yeah this you know we're not so innocent and everything like we all think look at no. kennedy i still think that fucking cia probably killed him or had something to do with no, it. no i think it was the mob i think it was the think mob you, you think it was al capone alex al capone wasn't al alive capone. then who was, the guy, who was the guy in charge at that time al capone was dead by then oh he was okay yeah i read the book on him so who was the other guy sam giancana that was the guy right giancana yeah. that was it yes yeah. that's how i get them confused yeah, well, Jan Connor was having sex with uh, what was her name? Uh, Everybody. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. No, was, but the, no, no, no. But this no, woman no, no. who was also having sex with Jan <laughs> Connor. They were dead too. Yeah. Really? Like yes. a, a hooker or a <laughs> girl? She wasn't a hooker. Oh, I, she was not a hooker. No, but she was, was a, like a. Oh, was I, a I, socialite. Or something. I just saw her in a documentary thing. Oh, I can't Green remember. What they said. I'll get off the air here and I'll remember it. You know, yeah. that's the way things yeah. go. But um, um, all this while the guy still down at the corner is talking to the guardrail conversations. What? <laughs> what? I said all this going on, and I still have the guy down the street at Almaden, and before the freeway, the guy sits there and talking to the guardrail for an hour. Crazy. Well, wait a minute. Probably, he's How probably making he sense, too. The guardrail's <laughs> probably making sense. Yeah, he's probably making sense. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to get too much of your... Back to we worry yeah, well, about all these other you... people. And I know I know there's That's reasons you... to worry about all these people, but, you know, we have so much stuff here, it's just terrible. Well, I mean, we got to take... You know, we do have to take care of, uh, I think, of uh, Ukraine, uh, because if we don't stop Putin there... I know, but it's... there's always somebody we have to take care of. And in between these times, we don't take care of our own people. Hey, you know, mm -hmm. this country is flush with money. Okay, we can take and if care. we aren't flush with it, we simply print it up. Okay, we can take care of it. <laughs> exactly. So you know, give him the goddamn money and let's get on with this war and let's make sure he doesn't get, uh, you know, Ukraine doesn't get decimated. Yes, Jeff. The one thing that I've been doing is talking to everybody that I know, and their cousins and their people who live down the street. And, and and young guys and, and older guys and it's just is anybody out of work or are you working and everybody tells me they're working oh yeah well, they say everybody is yeah yeah oh there are enough jobs to go around now <laughs> steve and i are the only ones working on this panel what are you in fact i'd yeah, say give right. some of them <laughs> some of those jobs. Oh, i'm gonna tell you alex something funny i'll tell you tomorrow what <laughs> you know, I sell my comics on this. You know, I do my comic books. Yeah. So get this. I don't want to take up too much of time. I went from watching my mother. I was in the post office dropping boxes off. So this lady I know and the husband and wife, he owns like a contracting place. He's an Irishman and she's Irish. He's a nurse. And she goes, Tony, you have two dogs. He says, yeah. She says, would you want to be a dog walker? Because I have a lab, a puppy. 
So they're giving me forty dollars an hour, Alex, off the books to walk their dog five days, six days a week. So now I'm on the side during my lunch and walking a big dog. <laughs> so I went from watching my mother to walking a dog. Actually, the dog's <laughs> easier, Alex. I Gee, had, Tony's I had, got a job. I, I had a lab once. Uh, what kind? A gr- His crime. His name is Kansas. A yes. crime lab. Thank oh, you crime. very much, Kansas, ladies and he gentlemen. He goes crazy on me. Yeah. I, I saw. I showed Charlene a picture. She saw him. Hmm. Okay. I, I put it on your page later. The you only thing. The cute. only thing that's cr- really duller than looking at your dogs is yeah. looking at uh, people's pictures of their cars. <laughs> You know. Are you still taking care of that? I love this dog too. I'm a tax man. I don't want to touch you. It kicked Brian off. <laughs> Come on, Brian. Come back. Come back. Come back. Kevin. <laughs> I see Kansas Anthony here. He comes running out like a crazy dog. So, Alex, are you still taking care of that cat? No. Oh, okay. Why? Alex. I don't know. You talked about it for a week, so I just haven't heard you talk. That was about about a month ago, two months ago. Oh, you probably opened the window and pushed it out. No, no. (laughs) The owner finally came back and got it. Yeah, they they came back and got the cat. It was on loan. What happens is it gets to be just about the time we're really getting used to the cat, and the cat is getting used to us. Oh, they got to take him back. They and come they and take, take it away. Take yeah. the cat I'm away. attached to this dog now. It's just, I mean, I can. He's only down the block, so I go see him. That poor dog. I like he's my third dog now. Tony. That he dog likes me. Knows all its friends. The, the you know what they say? They me. said. Oh boy, you want to. They say, "Where's Tony?" He runs right to the dog. He's looking for me all the time. He knows where I am now. Yeah, what's the, what's the dog's name? Kansas. Oh, so. You know why, Alex? They adopted him from Kansas, and they drove. So he's from the state of Kansas. Yeah. yeah, he's a beautiful dog, a boy. Was he pissed off about the game last week? He runs right out with dog dog. <laughs> is he this... almost knocked me over. He's got to calm down, big guy. Is this one of your dogs? off about the game last week? You giving him coffee? No, oh, I oh, give him a little snack. <laughs> I walk around the neighborhood. I, he takes big dumps. I got to pick it up all the time. Is that, is it, wait a minute. Oh, hold on, he's dog. a boy. Hold this on, on a second. Thing hey, he's man, shut up. Shut up. Oh, I'm sorry. Get us some pictures of those dumps. Give him coffee. I got it right I here. I haven't been sent him calling. Hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Is that your car in the back, Ron? That's a nice car. That's yes, one of them. Yeah. I just sold. I I sold that one a couple years ago. That is a good looking. That's, that's car. nice. That's a good looking car. That's a yeah. car. Of that's a I'm, I'm gonna put cars up that's here a... all the time now that you complain. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's that my name is oh, boy. <laughs> oh, this Alex? is what? Oh. You're going off the air, so there's no way you have any time for my mahogany story, but that's all right. Well, I forgot <laughs> about your mahogany story. story. What? Well, well, I, nobody will like it anyway, so can, who cares? You told me so. <laughs> can you good. tell it in three seconds? Three seconds. All right, I'll try to do it. Okay. My, I had my son and one of my mother's uh, sisters. No, nope, we got to go. They gave me a card, and it was a mahogany because my son is not white. He's mixed, you know, oh, his I father's see. brown. Yeah. So I said, I said to everybody, all right, who gave me the black card? <laughs> you didn't know that it was like, a, you know, for black people, African-American, your conversation made me think of that. Okay. Hey, listen, we, we, got, I'm lost. We, got the, we got the theme running here. Maybe they'll make a calendar. Out. This has been fun. It's a lot of fun today. I'll send you a picture of Kansas on your page, Alex. Tomorrow. This went by real fast for me. You use that as your background. He's so cute. Kid. What, like using this as a background? Drive, I'd like to get a ride in it. This dog. Brian's <laughs> Jay Leno. You should they send everybody You Jay should Leno. send everybody a picture of the same car. And they can <laughs> yeah, all have go. it as their background. <laughs> if I fix a Steve, get your car in there. Yeah, you get a car, and you get a car, and you get a car. <laughs> anyway, anyway thank one. you, Steve. Appreciate beautiful. it, Steve. All you do for me, I really appreciate it. And, of course, uh, Brian, love having you here. Charlie, you're great. What can I say? Alan, you're terrific. Kevin, love you, okay? Not as a guy loves a guy, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Express me. Uh, <laughs> Charlie Martinez, thank you very much. Jeff Stein and uh, the lovely and attractive Tony, thank oh, you all. Uh, give yourself a big a wave goodbye, and I'll give a wee- big wave goodbye at you. There they go, folks. Goodbye, guys. There they go. And woman, thank you very much, uh, Charlene. Uh, that's our uh, group of people tonight on the uh, on the uh, program. 
We'll have another citizen panel tomorrow. There's one following up right now coming up on, with Amy uh, Manuel and the intersection on Skype at GabNet Live. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.